Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to show you how to get the memory consumption of a single process on macOS or Linux on Unix systems while displaying the used memory in human readable units such as megabytes, gigabytes, and so on. First, you need to find the process ID. You can use PS aux with grep and you can grep for your process name. Then, if you don't want to show the grep command in the processes that you search for, you can just exclude grep with using another pipe to grep. And here's our process and here's our process ID. Here's the commands that we're going to use. I'm just going to copy paste them. I've already put process IDs in. You need to use your own, of course. First, we're going to go to Linux and we can use top and just give it the process ID and we can see the process information here. If we want to look at memory, we take a look at the res column and we can see that this process is consuming 1.9 gigabytes of memory. If you're wondering what do these columns mean, you can see this stack overflow thread or you can look at the main pages for top. And I'm mainly interested in the resident size. So yeah, let's go back and try the same thing with HTOP. You have to have HTOP installed, of course. We give it the same process ID and we have the same res column. And we can see that we have megabyte display now, which is more informative than what top has given us. Next, one more way to do it would be to use the ps command, give it the process ID and use the output flag and we put rss equals as the flag value. Then we pipe everything to awk so we can divide by 1024 and we can display megabyte suffix. This is kind of a hacky command but yeah, it's another way to do the same thing. To show gigabytes, we can divide in the awk command by 1024 again, and we get the gigabyte memory consumption. That's it for Linux, and for macOS, it's the same, but there are small differences. For example, you give the process ID to the top command by using the dash PID flag. And we can see the memory consumption under the mem column, but one thing to notice is that this is not correct. So this is actually showing the proportion of memory consumed by the process compared to the total available memory. That's weird. So top on macOS is not really usable for this. But we can use HTOP and here we can see the memory is expressed in kilobytes. So it doesn't have a unit display, but this is kilobytes. And we can use the ps to awk incantation that we did before on Linux. It works the same way. We can see megabytes and we can see gigabytes if we divide again by 1024. Yeah, that's it for this video. Like, uh, subscribe, do all that YouTube shit and yeah, see you next time.